Well, hi there, and welcome to the latest episode of the podcast. This episode, I've got two things to share with you. The first one, we're going to talk about the TikTok music app launching and exactly where and how and all you need to know. After that, we're going to be talking about a new integration between SoundCloud and Groover. So enough of the intro, enough of all that noise. Let's get into this episode of the podcast. TikTok have launched a new app called TikTok Music. Now, you should know that TikTok Music has existed previously in some locations, some parts of the world. It has been known as Rezo, R-E-S-S-O. But what's happening now is that is rebranding in a few countries as TikTok Music. So right now, at time of recording, people in Indonesia and Brazil are the first to get access to the new TikTok music app following the rebrand. Now, there are additional territories which will be coming in the future, but right now they're starting in just these two. It's also worth mentioning here, I got to stop saying it's also worth mentioning, everything I say is worth mentioning, dang it. But TikTok music will not be launching in India. The existing app in India will remain as Rezo, R-E-S-S-O. Um, Also, they shut down the ad-supported tier of this TikTok music app slash Rezo in April 2023. Now let's get into the fun stuff with this. What does this really mean? Let's look at some of the cool features that are going to be included with this. So I'm just going to read through the list here. And we've got a two-way integration with TikTok to switch between apps. So you can be listening to a song in TikTok, switch over to the TikTok music app to listen to the song in its entirety and vice versa. Social features are also included where users can comment on songs and albums, the ability to listen to full length tracks in the TikTok app, previewing clips in TikTok, Song recommendations and personalized curation, meaning that if you're creating a new video or something that you're going to post on TikTok, there will be songs that are recommended for you based on that piece of content. And I don't like saying the word content too much, but in this case, content. There's also the ability to create collaborative playlists with your friends, with your band members. You can import the music library from other platforms, You can find a song by searching for the lyrics. And there's also a song identification feature that works similar to how Shazam works as well. Now, before I jump into the next part of this, I wanted to let you know that everything I am reading to you this episode, you can also read on my blog. So I've included links directly to the blog in the show notes so that you can read the articles on this and learn even more about what I'm talking about right now. Groover have just announced a new integration with SoundCloud, allowing for easy filtering and better curator matching by connecting your accounts. Yes, I read that. Yes, that sounded very salesy. (laughs) I I apologize. Uh, But in all seriousness, um, for anyone that isn't familiar, I should probably tell you what Groover is. And before I even say that, I just want to mention that whenever I talk about a paid product on here or a paid service or a paid app or something where you would spend money to get something, uh, please always do your own research. You know, I don't want you to take this as a recommendation and then come back and say, hey, I tried something you mentioned and it didn't do what I expected. Um, Always ask your peers, ask your fellow artists, Go onto forums, go onto blogs, ask on social media. People will tell you about the experience that they've had. Now, that aside, let's dive into Groover and what Groover is. So, Groover is a website where artists can go on there, they can upload their music, or they can share a link if it's already live on streaming platforms. And you can then find different curators, uh, even radio programmers, in some cases, record labels. And you can send music to blogs, 
those radio people, <laughs> playlist curators, uh, and a bunch of other people to get feedback. And possibly if they like what they hear, they may also come back to you with some sort of programming or support to get your music in front of more people. Now, Groover have been around for some time. And since they launched, over 3 million pieces of feedback have been given by more than 3,000 active curators that are actually on there listening to the music submissions. Um, now, once again, not trying to make this sound like a plug, just letting you know how it works and what's happening. Um, and so just recently, Groover announced a direct connection with SoundCloud where you can simply log in, connect the two, and then it will grab the details about your track from SoundCloud and pull it straight into Groover and start making suggestions on who you could submit that music to for opportunities and consideration. It's like a three-step process. I'm not going to talk about the steps and where to click because that doesn't really make sense for a podcast, uh, but just making you aware of Groover, what they do, and this new integration with Groover and SoundCloud. And once again, if you would like to find out more about this or anything I've mentioned in this episode, there are links to the articles directly in the show notes. Or you can also just go directly to the blog, which is workhardplaylisthard.com. And if you want to find me on social media, you can find me everywhere at Ask Mike Warner. And that's it. Thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed this and you like the sound of my voice and you would like to hear more, more of this, more of this news, more of the things that matter, please consider telling someone about this podcast, sharing the things you've learned. You don't even have to send them to this podcast. Just tell them, share what you've learned. You know, there's no reason to hold this information. Keep it to yourself. And I'll record the next episode of this podcast when there is something worth sharing and when I feel like it. Until then, keep creating, keep learning, keep sharing, and have a good time doing it. Bye.